Hey there, Lupter here. Welcome back to our hardcore survival world. Uh, I want to be honest with you guys. There's not going to be too much action today. I want to mainly focus on just building some stuff here and there, mainly because I will be gone for the next couple of days. Uh, I will be going up for a wedding, so I'm not going to... Not gonna have time to record Minecraft or Call of Duty or anything like that uh, when I'm gone. So, I have to do it like all right now and I don't want to do anything too, too extravagant. Uh, however, I will be focusing on building up my little like platform over here. I placed a bunch of torches and got a little outline going on. Because I want to put like a, uh, ooh, that took out most of our health. But I want to put a little fountain right here. Put like the dragon egg on top and have like a beacon shoot straight through. And then right here is going to be like a little walkway. Over here some buildings and just, yeah, focus on that stuff. But first things first, we need a beacon just so that we get a good frame of reference and get that like up and going as soon as possible. So let's see. I think we need some obsidian and some glass. We got obsidian. Okay, we just need glass. Do we have any? Yes, we do. One, two, three, four, five. And where's our nether star? Ah, there it is. Perfect. I'm uh, going to build the beacon and I should have a chest pretty well full of iron blocks i don't know if it will be enough but it's pretty full yeah that is a lot of iron hopefully that is a uh that's enough but we're gonna find out by the way there should be audio in this recording for some reason last time i recorded minecraft or like my uh rl craft series i forgot to uh enable recording for the audio so hopefully this time audio is enabled but there you go we got one beacon right there we just need to go underneath i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do this make it a bit easier on myself and i think that's about the beacon layers we need right there i think we need like four layers to get like a fully built beacon let me double check real quick uh uh, one two three four okay yeah uh i was correct oh, wait what am i doing i should have uh water breathing potions back at home this would be a lot easier with that there you go got some water breathing let me go back to the uh go back to the raid arena here and finish up this beacon now i think when it comes to the beacon i'm gonna go with regeneration and strength because I think that would be very useful for a raid farm. All right, there you go. We got one beacon completed. Uh, let's get out of here. Come on, there you go. And now let me officially say that we have regeneration and strength. Bam, <laughs> there you go. Perfect. All right, uh, I think we should start working on the on the fountain itself all right let's get some cobblestone uh i should probably throw it in a shulker shell make it a bit easier on ourselves uh i think we need a crafting table as well you know it's crazy that we're about to have another minecraft update here soon like ooh, i can't wait i'm excited for it personally uh i think i'm gonna be more so intrigued about the forest rather than the uh, minecraft boss creature thing itself don't get me wrong it's pretty cool it's like a weeping angel but uh, I'm more so intrigued about the forest. I want to see the uh, wood type. Try to use that in some builds. Um, probably try to get like a bunch of saplings from it. I do hope they change it from like a dark oak forest feel. Because it looks like that. But just like way grayer in a sense. But I will admit I am happy that they removed the mob vote. Because man that was so stupid. It's like for the mob votes it was just more so like oh which Minecraft YouTuber is voting for that one. Because we got glow squids because of dream. And it was like. We could have had such better options, like a Moo Bloom or the, uh, what do you say, the Ice Pillager. I was rooting for the Ice Pillager myself, personally, but, like, I don't think anybody was genuinely going for the Glow Squid. Because it was obvious, uh, obvious, it was not gonna be good. But I still hope that, like, all the previous mobs that were not included into Minecraft from the mob votes get included into the future, because it's just a shame for some of them, because they were, like, really cool ideas for a lot of them. But I don't think Minecraft will be uh, adding them anytime soon. But we shall see. Anything can be possible, you know? Alright, I need to see if a slab will prevent this from going through. Will it? Does not look like it. I think we're good. We're good. Okay. Woo. Now, all we need to do is add some water flowing from it. Just to get that feel of a fountain. And there we go. Look at that beautiful now there is one more thing i need to do i need to find the dragon egg and place it where it belongs there it is uh we do need to sleep first and then probably get some wood because i do need to get some wood for the uh little walkway area Ooh, we should get a lot of leaves as well hang on i'm getting some ideas on how i want this uh 
low raid area to look like. Now, we do got some spruce left over. That is actually really useful because I was planning to use spruce slabs for the uh, walkway. And last but not least, place the egg right there. Woo! Look at that. That's a beautiful spot for a dragon egg. Now we just need to start working on the little walkway here. Did not mean to fall in. Uh, let me get out of here, please. Did not mean to do that. So what would you guys love to see in Minecraft? I know they got like a little less of stuff they're never going to be adding into Minecraft. Like vertical slabs and like I think backpacks. But I still think those would be really cool ideas. But if not, I do wish that we get to see some of the previous mobs that lost the mob vote return. Um, What else would I like? I think, I'm thinking some more wood variants would be pretty cool. I know they said dyeable wood would not be an option, but at least more, more wood colors. That'd be really cool. It would be pretty cool to see something after the ender dragon. Like maybe you're able to uh, hatch the egg or something or go to a completely brand new biome. I don't know, something a bit more, because don't get me wrong. I know the end is supposed to be like the end of the journey for Minecraft, but I feel like we've gone such a long way since then that we need something new. And I'm not necessarily saying like an end update, but maybe something after the end. I think it would also be pretty cool to find like old remnants of old villager houses from like pre-villager update. Because I was thinking about making this look like the village, uh, kind of like a village from pre-village update days. Kind of like the old blacksmith, the little like weird square houses. Ah, the good old days. Don't get me wrong, I love the village update where we get to like easily get mending rather than just having to breed a villager see if he will be a librarian and then kill him because he's not the uh, not a villager we want but i do miss some of the houses just for the nostalgic reasons you know it's actually crazy i remember when that was being released that was like six years ago man time flies you know i don't like that i do not like how much time has flown because i feel like it was not that long ago but yeah it is very crazy how long i have been playing minecraft i've been playing since about like 1.2 1.3 i know it was right before the 1.4 update because i was super excited for the uh for the comparators hoppers just all the redstone stuff and then the weather stuff like shortly soon after oh it was such a cool thing to see at the time. All right, let's get a good couple stacks of leaves. Like I said, nothing too crazy. Oh, you know what? It would be pretty cool to find a uh, a nice lush cave because we could get the uh, flower leaves. Oh, that would be so cool. We need to find one of those one day. Uh, maybe not now, but sometime in the future. But yeah, to give a little more context on stuff in the future, uh, I am going to be moving here soon. Everything seems to be going smoothly. Knock on wood, that continues to go smoothly. Uh, but yeah, we're on the final stages here. We just need to basically sign the paperwork and we can move. Uh, but that will not be till like 7th of November. So kind of got to wait till then. And then we move in on the 9th. Uh, so I don't know if I'll have internet. I'm going to try to get internet beforehand, but we're going to see if I'm able to uh, record and upload some videos. But hopefully by then we can start doing some stuff like live streaming maybe. I do want to start doing some live streaming content, start working on like a uh, charity stream, play some like old Wii games like Super Mario Galaxy, and just have a good old time. Plus I think that would make some things a lot better, especially with the uh, whole Minecraft series when we get to these later stages where it's like, okay, now we're just building a bunch of stuff there's not a lot to say but i don't want to seem like it's just oh yeah here's one thing one episode and then bam here's like 20 different buildings okay i messed up a little bit here we have this as a one two for this section right here but over here it's about like three diagonals so it's like one two three so i need to shorten it or extend it by one area i'm probably gonna extend it one by over here and that's mainly because I want to keep the uh, torches hidden right here. But all right, we got some bushes up and going. I think this is a pretty good start. I feel like I feel like we got a lot more we got to work on. But this is a great start right here. Now, I think this looks pretty good. It's like a little bench right here. You just sit right here, enjoy the fountain. Ah, beautiful. All right, I'm going to get started on some villager houses. I'm going to be mainly doing this from memory. So hopefully I remember how some of these houses look. I'm going to go with the blacksmith first which should be something like this. Uh, right here should be like the lava section. And then I think we need to extend this out just a little bit. 
So that way we have like the treasure chest area. You know, now I'm starting to doubt that I know what the uh, blacksmith looks like now because I am completely forgetting what it looks like. But I think I have the gist of it. I do remember there was like two furnaces right here and then two buckets of lava right here. Um, I think this was a little longer, but I'm not gonna work on that. All right, uh, let's see. I think the last thing I'm gonna do now is start smelting some of this stone into smooth stone, get this top layer done, and then we should probably start working on some more houses. Now, I do not want to build these so close to each other, so I'm going to start working on the next house here. Uh, let's see, this should be the front door, and it should look, if I remember correctly, something like this. And then, was there windows? I think there might have been, but I think it was like this wide no no it's a pretty small house i think it was like this i think it was a seven by seven so let me make sure i got this correct one two three four five six seven because i remember this house being a really tiny one like you could barely fit anything you know i think it was actually smaller than this let me let me make sure i'm doing this correct i think it was about this size uh yeah, this feels a bit more correct. And then for this one, it kind of just went like this, I believe. And it had like fences on top. I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to remember from memory. It's been so long since I've like thought about these houses. Ha <laughs> ha, we were one sure. But I do believe this was pretty much it. It did have like a little table and a stair. So let me do this. And we need a table. And back then, it was really simple. They didn't really go too crazy with it. They just kind of went with a uh, fence gate and a pressure plate. And that was pretty much a table. I mean, a lot of people still use it today. But I feel like we've moved on a little bit. Where we started working more so towards unique builds. But sometimes people forget about the simpler builds. You know, this is what really started Minecraft. All right, we're gonna build the next house here. If I remember correctly, it was like an L-shaped one. Ah, uh, how did it look like? Uh, gotta kind of lay this out a little bit here. And if I remember correctly, it should pretty much look like this. Maybe a little different. My memory's a bit foggy. But compared to the other houses, it was pretty nice. It was very, very lavish. Now, if I remember correctly, the inside area here was wooden floors. Uh, I don't think it was stone. I do believe it was wooden. All right. Uh, I don't think this is exactly what it looked like. But it seems pretty close, at least pretty close in memory terms. But all right, I think the last thing I'm going to do is put the roof on the blacksmith. I'm also going to place some fences because I do remember the blacksmith having like fences on the corner here, like each of the corners to hold the roof up. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, just getting an outline done and we should be pretty much done with this blacksmith or at least as done as I could be. I got to I got to relook at some uh, reference images because I feel like I might be just a little off on how some of this stuff looks. Oh, I just remembered how this goes. OK, hang on, hang on. This actually kind of curved inside. Hang on. I'm a. Uh, Doing this a bit backwards with this blacksmith here. Okay, I know I'm close with this, but I'm just a little off. I don't know exactly how far off, but I'm just a little bit. All right, I feel like this is pretty close. I think the only uh, the only house that actually looks like how it's supposed to be is that house right over there. I think it's like one, two, and then three. That is definitely that is definitely not what the old Minecraft house used to look like for the villagers. But yeah, I think I'm going to end off the episode here. I do apologize. It is a shorter episode. Uh, that is because, you know, like I said, I will be out of town for the next couple of days. I uh, got to go to a wedding. So that's going to be pretty fun. And just uh, I wish I wish I could record a lot more for you guys. But hopefully here soon when I get my own place, I should have a lot more time to record, edit and just produce a lot more content for you but until then i think i'm gonna end it off right here so if you guys did like the video please like comment subscribe and until next time this has been look 20 signing off bye bye